Good afternoon and welcome to the Cambry Learn Student Orientation. We are very excited to have you here and we're excited to have you joining us here at Cambry Learn. Um, just a few ground rules before we get started. Uh, number one, there are support agents right now in the chat section that are available to assist you with any questions you might have throughout the event. Um, so you don't need to wait for the end. You can ask uh, um, your questions as the event goes. And then secondly, uh, just try switch off your phone or whatever other distractions you might have to focus carefully on this video. Um, the advice and tips about attending live lessons, submitting your assignments and, and, and contacting support, etc. Um, is, is quite essential to getting started. Um, so we just ask that you pay close attention and then this link will remain active after the event. So in the future, should you want to clarify something, you can always use it to come back and rewatch any part that you, you want. Um, yeah, without any further ado, once again, welcome to Cambry Learn and over to you, Desiree. Okay, welcome everyone to Cambry Learn. Thank you for, in, for joining us this afternoon. I am Desiree, I am part of the Student Success Team and I'll be your host today. Please remember to uh, pose all your questions in the Q&A section at the bottom of the screen and uh, my colleagues will be awaiting your questions and throughout the session and will answer anything that uh, you might need. Um, first of all, there's a, a little quote I wanted to share with you. Flexible learning allows you the freedom to step off the highway of learning and take a more scenic route. It just sets the tone for our uh, webinar today. So let's move on to what we'll be covering. First of all, um, please make sure that you are using Google Chrome. That's best performance for our system. And that's where our system works the best. We will be covering logging in, uh, the student dashboard, active course, weekly coursework. We'll go through the recorded live lessons, how to access assignments, tests and examinations. Uh, we'll be talking about the marking timeline for teachers, live lessons and Q&A sessions. We'll be looking at the timetables for the live lessons and Q&A sessions how to ask a question and contact the teacher, how to link the student and the guardian profiles. We'll be looking at the student, track, student tracker, uh, how to request a report card, and uh, we'll quickly have a look at the end at the uh, resources on the Cambridge Learn website that you might be able to find useful. As always, uh, you're welcome to contact us on hello at cambrylearn.com with any questions. If we don't get to um, the, your questions today, uh, please pop us an email on hello at cambrylearn.com uh, Cambry and uh, we'll get back to you very shortly. Okay, so we'll start with the first part, which is logging in. And uh, we're going to first start uh, logging in as a student and I'll work my way through and, and demonstrate what the dashboard looks look like and uh, my, what you might find on the dashboard. So uh, you'll go to cambrilo.com, select log in. At this point, you would have would have created a a profile on our system and have purchased your uh, course subjects uh, ready to go. There might be a slight delay on my system loading. Okay, so when you first um, log into the student profile, the dashboard, you will find um, at the top of the screen, your group sessions. This will be a list of the group sessions. You will um, see the live lessons and the Q&A sessions that's available and on your calendar on the left-hand side. These are also listed by date on the left-hand side and you would be able to easily click on the uh, session link to join the, the um, live lesson or Q&A session that is linked to your subscription. Just scrolling down, 
you will find that all of your listed or subscribed um, subjects will be listed in this field. You can toggle between the, uh, the British and the CATS curriculums, especially where um, a, st a student may be doing some subjects on both uh, curricula. Scrolling down, you'll find your bookmarks and your notes that you may have uh, completed within the course and the forums and discussions that's currently underway. Just also please remember to um, add all your questions or post all your questions on the quick Q&A tab and my colleagues will be eagerly awaiting um, anything that they can answer for you. Okay, looking at the student um, dashboard then, the, um, all of the subjects that you are subscribed to will be listed in this My Courses field. On the left-hand side, you'll find the uh, progress bar. So when a student have made some pro progress, the progress bar would be indicating a percentage. Where no progress has yet been made, it'd be 0%. And the course title, and then you would select continue, especially when there's when you have already worked on the course. And for example, when you have not worked on a course yet and you're newly, newly starting a subject, I will um, just show you on the CAPS curricula. You will then select the start button to move forward. So for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to select the CAPS grade four um, course that I haven't started on yet. And I'm going to click on start to start my, my subject course. Just bear with me while it loads, it's, it takes a little, a little while. Okay, so um, on the top of the screen, you will you will see the course that you have just selected, also the subject that you have selected to work on. When you click on the downward arrow, you can easily uh, move between your different subscribed subjects. Moving down slightly, you've got your lesson tab, lesson tab, which we are in at the moment. The recorded live lessons, which we will cover a little bit later on and then the assignments tab. Moving down a little bit more, you have your, we, your introduction, which is, which is possibly the most important part of, of starting your new subscription, your new subject. In each subject, please make sure to go through the introduction field and you would find all of the information that you need really to cover to uh, for a better understanding of what will be covered in the course, um, when, uh, when assignments, tests and examinations are due and general outline. And for example, in this course, demarcations for examinations. So if you have a, look, a quick look uh, for this subject, the course introduction gives you um, an overview of what is needed from the textbooks, to the uh, how, how many hours uh, you need to spend on the lessons, learning material, and so on. This can be downloaded as well. Clicking next will take you to the next field in this in the introduction um, section. That covers the, the program of a formal assessment, which tells you what you what you may expect. Uh, to find in term one, for example, term two, term three, and the assessments that need to be uploaded in each of the terms. The weightings are covered here also. Just going to move back into the lesson plan. You will also find the term planners. Um, which you can also print out. This will give you a breakdown of what you can expect weekly within the, in the uh, term, all the topics and themes that will be covered. 
and it will give you an idea of when you can expect the assignments. For example, here you can see that uh, the course topics that will be covered, the lessons within those topics, and then the book pages that you will be covering, the textbook pages. For example, here you, after week five, you'll be looking at assignment one. And at the end of, of week 10, you'd be expected to complete test one. This can also be downloaded just for your for quick reference to see what is needed for that week and for, for that term. When you, um, just for a, look, for a quick view, overview of what is, what is covered within the tab, you can just click the drop down arrow and I'll give you a quick synopsis of what, what, is, it, what is covered in that week. For example, week one, you'll have lesson one, two, three, and four. And clicking into week one, each week we'll have a this week, uh, that this week is very important as it gives you a breakdown of what is expected for that week. You will find um, a daily planner of what needs to be covered in terms of lessons. And you would also uh, find the references in terms of the textbook pages and the worksheets that's expected to be completed. This can also be downloaded so that you have a reference point for, for the week. Within the, um, the lesson as well, you can see the, that there is a, a recorded live les lesson that is matched with this particular theme. Selecting the, the live lesson will take you to the live lesson field where you can click and play the recorded live lesson for that theme. Scrolling down a little bit, you'll find that there are further themes within this lesson that can be played uh, concurrently from each other. You can also bookmark the recorded live lesson for viewing later, or if you would like to look at it again at a later stage. Just clicking out of this field. You will also find the recorded live lesson tab at the top of um, the subject tabs. Clicking in the recorded live lesson tab will take you to all of the recorded live lessons for the mathematics course grade four. And the most recent, uh, uh, the most recently uploaded recorded live lesson will then appear at the very top. You can also search by week, for example, if you want to want to match the recorded live lessons to a theme or week, a specific week that you're working on. This is more um, CAPS related for uh, British. The British course is based on uh, recorded live lessons is based on themes because the uh, British course is um, self-paced and students can join the course throughout the year compared to the CAPS course that is, that is governed by term times. Okay, going back into the lesson. We'll be looking at how to access the assignments. So scrolling down, You'll find your first assignment, for example, assignment one at week 5A. Clicking at the drop down arrow opens up that tab and click within the tab again. That opens up the assignment field. The first part of the, of the assignment field is a concessions field. Please um, disregard this field. As if you um, are a student that, does, that has a concession or has applied for a concession, please note that the teachers are aware of this concession. This doesn't, doesn't need to be uploaded anywhere. It is already with the teachers. 
uh, click on the download assignment field, click on download. That will then download the assignment for you. Remember, assignments aren't uh, timed. So you can download the assignment and uh, complete the, the assignment at your own leisure. Once you have downloaded the assignment, please print out the assignment and complete the assignment by hand. Um, all assignment must be handwritten and completed unless a concession states that a scribe is required. Once you've completed the, um, the assignment by hand, all of the pages, every single page, must be scanned. The, um, please remember also to sign the invigilation pages. And each page must be scanned and saved as one PDF document. This PDF document is then uploaded in this field, ready for marking um, for the teacher. Teachers can only mark PDF documents. Um, they, they can't mark anything that's in a JPEG format or any other format. It has to be in a PDF uh, format. So for the um, CAPS courses specifically, there may be assignments that require um, a PDF document to be uploaded along with a recorded video of say a, a reading, for example, that needs to be contained with it within a zip file, both the PDF um, document, as well as the, the uh, video that must be in M MP4 format and contained within a zip file and then uploaded for marking. Once, um, one, once the assignment is uploaded, it stands within the queue to be marked uh, with the designated teacher for the subject. Once marked, you can view the results on the view the results tab, and the students' results will be will be showed here, and you would be able to download the marked assessment. Just clicking out of this field, we'll next move into accessing tech tests and examinations. Apologies for the delay in uh, the system loading, just bear with me a moment. Also, just again, um, remember that there is a Q&A field. I see there's some activity there. You can um, go ahead and uh, post all of the questions that may come up for you, and my colleagues will be happy to attend to them. OK, so we'll go into the mathematics this time for the British curriculum. For the tests and exams, you will find the tests and examinations on the right hand side. For uh, to uh, get started with the test, um, for example, you will click on get started. The process will be explained to you in terms of invigilation because remember tests and examinations will be invigilated and the um, the once the paper is downloaded, you will have the student will have 24 hours in which to undertake the, the test on or examination under invigilation. And then this must be uploaded within that 24 hour time slot. Just scrolling down, just follow the prompts to move through. So here you will find the invigilator in, in details. For um, guardians that have already, or tutors that have already been linked to the student, you'll you will be able to easily select the invigilator by selecting whichever invigilator you uh, would like to use on this occasion. Alternatively, you can enter the, the name of the invigilator as well as the email address, and then click confirm.
an email will then be sent to the invigilator and the test can be downloaded from that link. I'm just going to move back to my slides just to show you what that might look like. So you will, you will receive a link, clicking on that link, you will, will receive the following prompts to say that this uh, welcome the invigilator name and to say that the student has requested you to be the invigilator and you click through the prompts. Once clicked through, you will um, view a tab similar to this one where you can download the file, which is the test. As soon as the test is downloaded, you will see that the, the test timer starts on the right hand side. Whenever you click within the link again, you will see the progress that the test timer is making and how much time you have left in order to complete the test and upload. Similarly, once the test is completed, remember the test has to be printed out, completed by hand. The invigilator has to sign the, the invigilation field to ensure to guarantee that the invigilation um, rules have been adhered to. All of the pages that have been downloaded and completed has to be scanned in chronological order and saved as one PDF document for upload. You will then upload in this, this field. Once uploaded, you will find A confirmation that the the test have been submitted or the or the uh, examination has been submitted and waiting for marking once marked you will um, receive a notification and be, or, or be able to use the link again and um, to view the mark and download the marked assessment for your reference Please note the marking timeline. So teachers have eight working days in which to mark each assignment, assess, uh, assignment, test, or examination. So if you if you upload, if you follow the course as it as it goes along and as you are prompt within the weeks, there will be plenty of time between the upload of assessments, receiving the mark, and and using the feedback received on the assessment to use towards your next assessment and upload. However, if you are um, uploading in bulk, for example, um, several assessments at, at a time, please note that these, these ass assessments are staggered. So each assessment will be uh, will reflect a several days apart from when it's uploaded. For example, if I upload five assignments today, the first assignment will be today's date and the next assignment will be in a couple of days time. It will be staggered and from there the teachers have eight working days for each for the marking of each assessment. Okay, moving back to live lessons. So live lessons are available for students on both the standard and the premium packages um, on a weekly basis. These cover the core subjects. Q&A sessions are available weekly for the premium students for all subjects. You will be able to, on the, the group field, you all of your um, upcoming live lessons and uh, Q&A sessions will be listed. There will also be a toggle um, saying uh, attending, not attending. Please um, select the toggle to indicate that you intend to join the live lesson or Q&A session. When, the, when it's due to start, when the live lesson is due to start, you can either click within this field or within 
the prompt the um the square here under the group sessions and that'll take you directly to the zoom live lesson or q a session please note that you need to have zoom already installed on your on your device for this uh, link to be effective You can, um, teachers tend to, to open up the, um, the sessions five minutes early, so you might uh, try and um, join at least five minutes earlier if you can. Just moving on to um, our calendar, calendars and, and timetables. The, the uh, calendars and timetables are split between the curricula. Uh, you'll first on the top find the British curricula um, containing the, the calendar for the year for the British curriculum. This calendar will indicate the, um, the holiday time periods for the um, Cambridge curriculum. And then underneath you'll find the timetables for the live lesson in Q and A sessions. So just opening this up. Just to show you an example. Hey, move with me while this loads. Okay, so as you can see here for primary stage five, you will find the live lessons that is marked in blue and the uh, Q&A sessions marked in green. Remember that the Q&A sessions are only available for the premium students and the um, live lessons are available for all students, whether a premium or standard. These um, these live lesson times and dates will marry up with what you can see on your dashboard group sessions here and in your calendar. Just going back to the depth and scrolling down to the CAPS curriculum. Similarly, you'll find the, the CAPS term calendar. This will show you the uh, term times, when the breaks are between each term uh, uh, term time, and when you might expect the examinations to be for each um, end of each term, mid mid year as well as end of year. Similarly, similarly, the timetables, as demonstrated before, can be downloaded on these tabs. Going back to the dashboard again. For um, the premium students have access to the ask a question field. When clicking on this field, you can communicate directly with your teacher or with, of course, the support desk. Starting off the messages, um, you will first find all of the, the messages, the welcome messages sent from each of your teachers for each of the uh, subscribed subjects and you would just click on that field look at the message and you might click reply to um, communicate with your teacher for the standard students it works a little bit differently uh, when you would like to communicate or send a message or need some feedback from a teacher so for, for example you would like uh, some more information about so, um, something that has been marked in your assessment. You would email into hello at cambrilo, sorry, hello at cambrilonot.com, and um, we will then act as the uh, middleman for getting the feedback to the teacher and sending the feedback from the teacher to the student.
Um, next on our agenda is um, linking the student and the Guardian profiles. So you, if you haven't done that yet, um, I will show you a couple of steps on how to do this. So from the student's profile, you will click on the three little bars on the right hand side. Click on linked accounts. And if you are not linked already, you can, or the student can, enter the Guardian email here, send request. An email request will then be sent to the Guardian and the Guardian will need to accept that request um, from the Guardian dashboard as well. Another a way of connecting is or linking to the student profile is going directly on the um, Guardian profile. Just going back to my slides just to show you how that would work. So when you when you first log into your Guardian profile, you would have the um, three options here. Go to parent parent forums. This is where the parents can communicate with, with one another, discuss topics and, um, and so on. A link to your child or student or create a new student profile. When selecting link to your child or student profile, you'll then move on to this tab here, enter your, the student profile email address. So that would be the email address you used to set up the student profile. Um, the, when the student is registered already, the student um, will then appear at the bottom and you will click connect. On the next field, you will then see the student um, on the, the, uh, the, Guardian dashboard. If you notice at the bottom, it would say that the student would need to accept the link request. Now going back to the student profile. So from the student profile, you would then select the little bell on the top corner. I can probably demonstrate that better here. And all of the notifications that were sent would be here and you would click on there. Similarly, I'm just going to demonstrate it here. So clicking on the bell will open up the notifications. You will see here then that the Guardian has sent a request. Clicking on that blue, blue uh, rectangle will then take you to the next screen that would say um, to accept or decline the link. The student will then, or you would then on behalf of the student, select accept. And once accepted, you would then be linked to the student profile. So therefore from the Guardian profile, back to the Guardian profile. So from the Guardian profile again, what you would then see is that the student has been linked. So from here, you'd then be able to directly click on this field to access the, the student tracker. So that is the next um, part of the agenda. So just have a look at the student tracker here. So from again, from the, the Guardian profile, you have now linked to your, your, your student and you will click on the, the link to student. Going to the next page, we'll then give you a breakdown of all of the subjects that the student has uh, is subscribed to. It gives a breakdown and when you click into what, say for example, chemistry, you will find a breakdown of all of the, the assignments, tests and examinations that have been completed or that might be awaiting marking and have been uploaded. 
scrolling down from this field, you'll also find a breakdown um, of activity to have a look um, how many times the student may have logged in for the month, how many live lessons the student has attended, or the group sessions, how many lessons they've completed, and if they have partaken in, in any of the live lessons, oh, forums, I mean. So clicking in, into the subject will take you to the next uh, field. It will give you a breakdown of the lesson progress. So how much progress the student has made within the lessons in terms of percentage. The course subscription duration, when it started, when it, it will be ending, as well as a breakdown of all of the assessments that need to be uploaded and marked. This page just continues here on the right hand side just to demonstrate this for you. The assignments, examinations. So in this example, the um, an assignment has been uploaded and marked. The task two assignment have been uploaded and is waiting for marking, which is the color coded fields indicating to the teacher the length of time that the um, that they have left for marking. Remember, they have eight working days to mark assessments. If you have any questions on that, please remember to add them to the Q&A field. Um, my colleagues are already there to answer anything that you might um, need clarification on. Moving on to the report cards. Just going to go back to um, the student dashboard. For the uh, CAPS curriculum, remember that the um, report cards aren't, request, aren't particularly requested from the dashboard, for example. The um, report cards are issued um, by the system, so it's an automatic process. As soon as the um, all of the terms content have been uploaded and marked, the system is automatically uh, prompted to release the, the report card. That will be term, term based, so term one, two, three, and four. And obviously at term four, that will be a, the a year end mark as well. The British course works a little bit differently because um, it's self-paced and students don't rely on term times specifically. So again, from the um, I'm just going to see if this is going to be a bit clearer doing a full screen. Bear with me a second. So again, from the um, Guardian profile, uh, logging in as the Guardian, you would then uh, go through the, the prompts to view the student tracker. So click on the link, to st link student opening up the student tracker which lists a breakdown of every of all this all, all of the subjects and the progress once all everything has been uploaded for each subject and marked you would be able to request the report card directly from the student tracker so if you um, click on the request report card the next field will open up which lists all of the completed uh, subjects that the students have, have completed. So um, if you are selecting a report card for each year, then you would select, say, for example, the most recent course completed was, was um, say, primary stage one. You would select all of the, the subjects for primary stage one to add to the report card. Clicking submit then sends um, a prompt to uh, to the system to generate the report card that is then issued to the um, the head of primary and the or the head of um, high school and the report card is then generated and sent to you if um, you don't have access to to the student tracker or find find a little bit of difficulty on this then you can always email us on hello at cambrylearn Dot com and request a report card and we'll be happy to assist you.
Then lastly, um, on our website, you will find a myriad of resources from all of the courses that we offer in both British CAPS curricula, as well as our extracurricular subjects, such as uh, robotics, we'll soon also launch the uh, coding, the revamped coding uh, courses again, and um, SEL. You'll find further information here on our school and the resources tab, you'll find the timetables, calendars, your textbooks and the suppliers of our textbooks for the, um, for the British curriculum for IGCSE, AS level and A level, you will find the, um, the, ex the external exam centers list um, as you will be writing external exams from a IGCSE, AS level and A level. Remember, for the, for the IGCSE, AS and A-level, you will not receive a report card. The report card is actually the external exam results that you will receive directly from, from Cambridge International. We also have a request if you are looking for a learning pod in your area, which is also synonymous to Tutor Centre, our blog. And then we also offer a tutoring. If you find that the student needs a little bit more help uh, we on a certain subject, we offer a, a tutoring service virtually with our teachers. Uh, the, the sessions um, is one hour long uh, for the different subjects. You can purchase one session or you can purchase a bundle of sessions. And the more you purchase, the, the, the uh, cheaper it is. Just waiting for that to load. Just waiting for that to load, just to show that last part for you. Uh, we have come to the end of our demonstration. So if you do have any last questions that you want to add to our Q&A session, please do that now. And we'll happily attend to, to, to it and answer your questions. Okay, so finally it's loaded. So we have um, different subjects that we that we offer. We our main subjects would would be uh, mathematics, science, uh, English. We also offer Afrikaans tutoring. Bear with me while it loads. Uh, can we also um, have recently added accounting to our tutoring offering? Thank you for bearing with me while, while this takes so long to load. Okay, so you can see we've got um, several different sciences. We've got English and Afrikaans and accounting as well. And um, selecting an option. So for example, we select mathematics. That'll take you to, through prompts to check out and you directly make your purchase of our tutoring sessions uh, using the uh, prompts to, to check out and select the um, amount of sessions that you would like to, to use. So let's say, for example, it gives you a little bit of information. And then you can select the bundles here. Obviously, the more you, you the, if you're looking for 10 lessons, for example, it'll be work out less per session. You'd then add it to the cart and then follow the prompts to check out. Once um, the payment is made, we receive 
a, a notification that uh, tutoring has been booked and then we contact you to uh, make the arrangements for an appropriate time to match with the tutor. Just going back to what we've covered today. We've gone through quite a bit of information there and uh, this is recorded. So if you are looking to have a, another little look through um, the sessions, just uh, let us know and we'll be happy to send you the link for, um, for further viewing. Then just to thank you so much for your time and for, join, for joining us today. And um, we look forward to working with you this year.